Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Andor. We are back here with episode 9. Back again with Mark for another reaction review. Uh, last episode, what even happened? I, I forget. Oh, Cassian's in the prison? What are you laughing at? Yes. Cassian's in yeah, the prison? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah we're, the we're gonna see... Mix right now. We might not see how he actually gets out in this episode, but we might see, you know, the the stuff leading up to it, so... I'm excited to get into it. Let's just, uh, let's go right in. Ooh. I'm feeling this. <laughs> oh, that was kind of hard. Dude, <laughs> intro gets just, goes crazy every time. She, she scares me and she's not I'm not even the one being interrogated there. <laughs> it is very intimidating. It's dude, it's so funny. They they're looking for Cassian and all he did was he's in this prison. All he did to get in without his actual name is just tell them a different name. Like it's not like oh, he yeah. has no identification or anything. He just said, "Oh yeah, this is my name." Yeah, so exactly. now he's in like, here not being named Cassian Andor, and he's getting away with it. <laughs> so funny. We um, physical about this process. We've had some early trials that were a bit chaotic. This dude's evil. Excuse <laughs> me, like See, he's just laughing around. about it. Yeah, no. So it's just sound? Oh god. Don't tell me I'm gonna hear it. I don't wanna hear it. <laughs> I don't wanna hear it. <laughs> I don't wanna hear it. I don't wanna hear it either. Okay, good. I didn't have to hear it. Jeez. That was a cool transition. Transition yeah. from her scream to the... Hold your position. Who is it? It's Luke Skywalker! <clears throat> You'd imagine. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't have to hear it. I was genuinely <laughs> scared to have to hear yeah, it. Yeah, no, so was I. Jeez, dude, you gonna make out with her? <laughs> Why are you grabbing her face like that? <laughs> second vow is to protect the power and independence of this remarkable chamber. Nobody's wanting to hear it. Yeah. The secret senators have come with Something's going on. They're going too fast, I can't read it. Everybody calm down! Me. Your father may have an opinion. We'll see if he lets me wear it. He lets me do anything I want. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, it's her. Hmm. Okay, that makes sense. You think they're listening? You think they care enough to make an effort? Like you would know. I know this. They don't need to care. All they need to do is turn this floor on twice a day and keep their numbers rolling. Why bother listening to us? We are nothing to them. Melchie's right. We're cheaper than droids and easier to replace. He's right. Good luck, Luke. Sure. Dude, it's so ridiculous. That if they just have any sort of identification, they mm -hmm. have him. <laughs> He's Literally. In prison. You know, without him breaking out, he would be in this prison for six years. <laughs> they probably would they never, would find, never them. find him. Exactly. <laughs> we 
he's starting to go insane too. Yeah, did everybody so apparently losing their mind? The people on level two got set free. Yeah, they either that's... got set free or killed. Yeah, one of the two. Is this all he eats? I guess so. This old guy is not looking so hot. I feel bad for him. I feel bad for everybody. Like this dude. He's actually losing his mind. He just looks worse and worse every single time we see him. Yeah. There's so many cuts in this episode. I've noticed. There are, yeah. Like, yeah. I feel like we're not, we're not sticking on something for a very long time. Oh, there's actually a lot happening right now. Conversation we had last month. That wasn't a conversation. You were brought in for questioning. Are you stalking me? I know you work here. I come sometimes to see what you're saying. Oh, this dude is weird. <laughs> I thought I had ruined my life. I thought I was done. After meeting you, it was time to ruin the spread how dangerous Cassie Randall was. Just being in your presence, I. I realized that love was worth living. I realized that. Bro, you need the backup, dude. For you to get in the galaxy in the pitch of time. You're out of your mind. I have already given you a second chance. You come near me again, you pursue any of this. And I swear I'll have you in a cage on the outer rim. Dude, I don't even know. <laughs> I literally don't know how to react to that. That was this so dude, weird. This dude thought they had feelings for each other because of their hatred for Cassie. That dude is... That dude is weird. Oh my god. He's really not doing yeah. too hot. Dude's feet are nasty. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> like, bro, why are they giving us a close up of a dude's feet, bro? Ugh. I don't want to see that. <laughs> Who is this? Why is he in blue? Like he's like a medic or something. Oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Maybe he's just gonna kill him. I can't help him. Hmm? I can't help anyone. That's what I was thinking. He's probably not even a medic at all. He just. Yeah. Kills everyone. I made a mistake. A man who was just released on four ended up back on two the next day. Word got out on the floor and then they killed them all. You need those other men there. No one's getting out, are they? Not now. Not after this. Mm. So no one ever actually gets out of here alive. That makes they sense. just say how many ships they had, how many shifts they have left, and then they just get put right back in on another level anyway. Yep. Mm, that's a good way to end it. That's a really good way to end it. That is a perfect way, dude. They're gonna, they're breaking out. Like this oh, is the yeah, last straw. Course, this obviously. is the last straw. And now you've got the the shift leader here that is. A hundred percent on board with it after that. Yep. After he realized what actually happens when you're done. Yeah, because he is... obviously they showed that part in the episode where he was like arguing with Cassian. Like, don't think about breaking out. Get that off your mind. It's not gonna yeah. happen. So just go until your shifts are. You don't have any shifts left, and you're and you're free. And now he knows that that is not what happens. And you nope. just get killed <laughs> anyway. Yep. So that's, dude. That's what I was thinking the entire time when they were when they were bringing a medic. I was like, he is probably about to open this, and it's gonna have something in there that just kills him. It's not gonna actually help him. I figured yeah. that. Like they're, Cassian said it perfectly. Like they're not, they're way more expendable than droids. And they're way less expensive. They they come in here, do all this work, and they do, like, ridiculous amounts of work because they don't want to be the worst uh, table on the shift because then they get punished. Yeah. So, like, they are uber efficient in this place as well. Mm -hmm. 
Like this is this is brutal. Yeah, this is This is the most ridiculous, ridiculous thing ever. Yeah. And I think it's uh I think it's kind of interesting that we're seeing you know, we're seeing Mon Mothma at the same time as as all these other things are going on, like Cassian in this in this prison that's just merciless at that point because they're killing people, holding people in prison, forcing them to work, and then killing them by the time that their sentence is over. Their quote unquote sentence because it's yeah yeah it's a death sentence at that point. Yeah, that's and then point, you're yeah. seeing. Then you're seeing, uh, you know, the torture going on to get information out of, out of them, and then Mon Mothma's there, like, still not wanting to go full rebellion. Mm-hmm. But if she knew about these things, I don't think she would hesitate to go full rebellion. Yeah, she's still very hesitant on, on actually like full out, like you know, you said rebellion, uh. But uh, at this, you know, one point or another, she's gonna eventually go along with it, just because. And I think we're building up to that as well. Yeah, yeah, we're we're building up to the point where she's gonna find out that she just has to go with it. Like she can't just keep being scared of it. And obviously, you're gonna get to that point where she's just not even connected to the Senate or anything at all. I'm I'm curious to see what happens there. How she disconnects herself from the Senate without seeing like immediate repercussions from it i'm gonna guess it's just like she leaves and they can never find her because you know they in episode four they don't know where the rebel base is and that's where she is so yeah if she probably just goes completely off grid and they can never find her and that's uh you know they find out probably about like her bank and everything her Taking out a whole bunch of whole bunch of money yeah. to to fund everything, so I don't know. It's it's crazy. I'm still consistently enjoying these episodes. This one was weird in that it was like we were saying in the middle of the episode. It was there were so many cuts the entire episode. Like it was just it was just yeah. they they talk for like a minute cut to the next thing and it just kept happening over and over and over again uh yeah there was so much stuff going on there yeah. for like 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 towards like middle of the episode i want to say mm-hmm. there's just and so much stuff going on that's a that's another thing that i i honestly kind of like that about it because that also like i was saying how all these things are happening and mon, mon mothma is like still not all in on it that's I think that was kind of done on purpose there because you're consistently seeing all these horrible things happening from the empire, the empire's doing, and that's, I think ultimately going to build up to Mon Mothma, uh, you know, the, the final straw, whatever that may be. But, you know, you, you were also seeing with, with all those cuts, you're seeing the monotony of them, of Cassian inside that prison as well. Yeah, you're seeing it day in and day out, same exact thing. They're just they're just trying to get through their shifts, like the shift leader said. They're just trying to get through them so they can get out, and they're not actually going to get out. That's they're all not bad. what happens. <laughs> um, oh my god, that is so. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's such an empire thing. <laughs> oh yeah, to do that is just insane. <laughs> So insane. Yeah, like, yeah, you know it's fun. I'm not even like shocked that they do that either. Yeah. Like when, like when he said that, I was like, I'm not even surprised. Like that is literally something that they would do. I think I, I think I said it. Uh, in in last episode, that this whole prison thing and how they're doing this is like the worst thing you've ever seen the empire do in any like star wars media really like this is gruesome yeah and they just took that times a thousand yeah to the new information now that we have on it it's like yeah this is it's ridiculous. ridiculous uh what's the what's the one guy's name the one super awkward guy 
I don't even know his name still. Oh, like the <laughs> the weird dude. Yes, the weird dude that we keep following. Uh, yeah, I don't remember his that name. That part where he is confessing his love. Bro, that dude got no riz. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> okay. He has no riz. Dude, he is just he was full on confessing his feelings after having one interaction with her. That is I'm not gonna lie to you, I completely respect it too. But like <laughs> dude, that was so weird <laughs> that was very weird i'm not gonna lie that like, was really weird they, he the way he was talking like he was trying to say that they were like they they were bonding over the fact that they hate cassian that is yeah. so weird yeah, that, that is, is so weird that's a weird thing to be like oh yeah we have this in common <laughs> and it's like you you get these little little hints kind of throughout the the ever since episode one that he's like he's definitely a little weird oh yeah for sure but then it like it kind of leads up to that and he's like oh okay this makes yeah. sense that he's doing this <laughs> like I, mean, I believe this i mean props to the actor he's playing that part to a t oh dude 100 percent. like perfect cast in actor, there. so oh my lord uh well, I, I thought what, that I'll was. Be, uh, I'm actually gonna be interested to see what happens with him yeah. now that he got like rejected or whatever. See what he does. If they end up together, there's no way. <laughs> there's no way. That might be one of the funniest thing. One of the funniest <laughs> things in Star Wars if that actually happens. I'd be completely okay with it because it would be so funny. <laughs> but I think this episode was amazing. Just like. Uh, the past few, obviously, that was a much shorter episode than the, like, the past, I think, four. The past four have been super yeah. long. Uh, that was a lot shorter, but I think it was quick and to the point and was completely fine for the for the point that we're at. Like, we have three episodes left after this, uh, which I'm expecting of... I don't know when I, when the prison break will actually be, because I feel like... I feel like the prison break won't be the season finale. There's no, uh, I because don't I see, feel I like I no feel like they they're gonna make the season finale. Episodes. I feel like they're gonna make the season finale more based upon like full rebel slash Cassian interaction with the Empire, not you know this prison. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think they're gonna make it more rebel rebellion versus empire based there so that's what i'm expecting for the finale so i i would think that they escape either in the next episode or in the 11th episode and the 12th is like something super huge obviously i i, I feel like they're gonna escape next episode just because you've already like so we've had two episodes of cassian you know in the mix and the blunder mm -hmm. um so i think yeah i feel like he's got to escape in the next episode and then you kind of build that relationship with the, re like the rebels, uh, in eleven yeah. and twelve. I think that's, I think that'd be a pretty good like, thing to do there. So, kind of hoping yeah, that's. Yeah, I, I could see that for sure. Well, I uh, that's all I really have to say about it. Just another great episode, just like usual. Loving the series, and I, I am so excited for the for the finale. I will tell you that because oh, I yeah, think it's gonna be great. Sure. It's gonna be phenomenal. Uh, yeah, but other than that, I got nothing else to say. So if you made it this far in the video, please subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks so much for watching.